and then having a little bit of a fiddle around there. But it's good to be potency oriented because these places are powerful potency places. That is really strong. That is this yeah. tremendous sort of energy there. Then you can wiggle your way back from there through the sagittal suture and lambda varies a bit in people. Again, sometimes prizals are particularly big and the occiput's smaller, the interprizal occiput. So that can vary, I notice quite a bit. I think it's quite high in you, is it? Yeah, I think it's kind of there. Now, for someone else, it might be a bit further back. So I think I notice that varies quite a bit in people. So just to say that. Again, you don't even need to know where the damn thing is. You just need to be sensitive to potency. So if, if you did that, you'd find it. If you were that sensitive, that's like, that's a little bit less, but it's still very powerful. Mm. Uh, so just touching that way is useful. Then come around the back. If you find the mastoids, and then just come up from the mastoids, and you're just, you see where the ear is, it's kind of back from the ear. There's normally a little bit of depression, normally. That's not quite running, I don't think, in Doris. And I think it's somewhere around that there. Again, there's this sort of, you've connected into something. Yeah. But there, how's that, Doris? Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, it's like they're almost like subos, you know, acupuncture points, where if you stay with them, you kind of sink into them. And, and they open up, because they used to be open, didn't they? So if you stay here, it, it, it starts doing that. It almost allows, it shows you the fontanelle that was. The tricky bit is going from the sterian to the primal notch. Now that varies a great deal in people, because the Quite most of the area can be quite high or quite low. Someone's ear can be smaller or bigger. So in a way, they're not that useful landmark, barely. But the price of the notch tends to be a little bit higher, more anterior than the stereo. I'd say it's there. In fact, I know it's there. There's a definite, again, there's this kind of powerful sense. We're coming forward now into Terrian. There's the temples. It's all flat there because it's the wing of the sphenoid, which is quite flat. If you go to the posterior side, uh, it suddenly gets uh, more bumpy, a bit more complex because there's a meeting of four bones. That area is terion. Mm -hmm. Again, if you stay there, it feels like things start opening up. It's actually very strong in, in Doris. There's a tremendous potency here. What do you think? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. that's the most powerful of all of them. I'm just noticing on myself, 